بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي my dear respected brothers, sisters, elders, community leaders, and imams, I would like to first of all begin with the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may the peace and salutations be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I would like to first of all welcome you all and I'm very honored tonight to formally welcome all of you to the 10th annual SNMC dinner. My name is Bilal Kabir and I will be one of your MCs for this evening. I'd like to first of all take this opportunity to acknowledge some of the special guests who are with us tonight. So first of all, the MP for Nepean, Mr. Chandra Arya, is here today with us this evening. And the MPP for Ottawa South, Mr. John Fraser, is also here. The MPP for Nepean Carlton, Ms. Lisa McLeod, is not able to attend here in person, but her Chief of Staff, Ms. Kayla Fernet, is present with us this evening. From the City of Ottawa, Mayor Jim Watson, and the counselor, our counselor, Jan Harder, counselor Michael Kakish, counselor, as well as counselor George Deruz, who will be here with us briefly this, this evening. And His Excellency, the ambassador of Sudan and his wife. Jazakumullahu khairan, all of you for coming. Can we have a round of applause for them? Assalamu uh, alaikum. My dear brothers and sisters, I feel very humble to stand in front of you. I want to thank first all the honored guests, our MP Chandra, our councillor Kakish, our Mayor Jim Watson and our ambassador of Sudan, they are all coming here. And also, I want to thank all of the volunteers, all of the donors to SNMC, who gave their time, money, not for one year, for the last 18 years. And especially, I am very happy. I want to thank all of the past SNMC directors, present directors, and I also want all of us to welcome our new president, Dr. Nabil. Actually, you will be surprised. It was very difficult to find someone who was willing to follow our footsteps. So I especially welcome Dr. Nabil and his team. And also, we moved to Bar Haven in June 1997 with my wife and my four kids, Shamima, Fatima, Masuma, and Anna. We started a journey. We had the end goal in our side, especially my wife is more on that goal. She dreamed that in the Bar Haven we'll be having an unconventional masjid and a community center. Here I feel very much honored to stand in the SNMC itself, in its community center, to talk with you. Since 1998, June, we started in the basement of city of Ottawa, Jogbill Heritage Building. And now in 2016, I'm standing in front of you 
in our dream place, SNMC Center and Masih. Over the last 16 or 18 years, many of you has been part of us this journey. And you can think this project cost $8.5 million. And Alhamdulillah, all of you, the Muslims of Nepin or Barheben, they have donated half of this money. And other Ottawa people, they have donated the remaining quarter. All of the people throughout the whole of Canada, it is their dream came true. So we want to thank all of them and also thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, you can see, this is the, our 10th annual dinner. We started first dinner in 2007. Now, we are struggling. Many people ask me, is it an annual dinner or is it a fundraising dinner? I say that this is both. Because we have still $900,000 who not only donated, they gave us loan. Different organization, different individual. We need to pay back. So this time, it is a mix. It is annual dinner, it is fundraising dinner. Inshallah, next year, our new team will create a not fundraising dinner called fund dinner. Now, why I'm standing you here? That want to see what happens since we Mope in December 2014. Look at this hall. Even last year, we could not have this program here. Even as you can see, I'm speaking, there is an echo, and we have figured it out. We have got the acoustic panels. Inshallah, next one week, they will be in place. And it is an opportunity. This hall at least 20 weddings have been placed in this hall. So after moving this place, we work on this hall. What else do you want? Even you can see this round table, the chairs, this stage, the sound system, all we have been working for this last one year. Also, in this building unusual, we have three kitchens. We have at the front two kitchens, and basement there is the kitchen so that you can hold your programs and you can have the events. And also, we have a fitness room in the basement where we can have all of these things. Plus, we have three French language class in this building. Also in the basement, also on the library. So all of this work we did after moving in this place. And if you can see the beautiful grasses the side services, we have done that work also. We have put the fences. And also you will see, this is the mosque where everything came at one go. We have three domes. They are also in place. If you have not seen them, please go outside sometime and look at the beauty of this mosque. And finally, we have still some issues left. One of them is that our Muslims are increasing. So we are now starting two Juma. First one is one o'clock, second one is 2.15. And we had a place at the back entrance. We wanted to do a nice, beautiful flower garden, but we'll convert it now to a parking lot. That is the reality. And also we have next to the school, a empty slot. We will be converting it to a children playground. Hope we will not convert it to a parking lot. So, and also, you can see, unlike the other mosque, we have a beautiful community garden between this mosque and the school. And this is in place. And fortunately, you can see, there is a mixture of other faith people and our Muslim faith people, we are integrated. And also, you can see, I used to talk with my wife, why in the SNMC we have a last journey or final journey place. When someone has been in this place for years after years, 
when they will finally say goodbye for the eternal time we wanted them to have a opportunity to come say the goodbye when he will not be speaking on his behalf will be speaking so last year also we completed the final journey place or funeral place so with this few words i want to again ask help from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he keeps us united together if you look back to yourself you will see this is a place where everyone is integrated we come from different places different countries but we believe in oneness of the god and finally i want that all of you will keep on supporting snmc this is your masjid for your children your grandchildren assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh thank you dr amdad up next so our next speaker i just want to mention a few things um, he's a research scientist and a manager with nrcan vice chair of i lead co-founder of multiple community organizations including snmc and has been actively involved in managing SNMC programs, youth activities, and community outreach. And if this list is not already enough, he has added to his portfolio. Now he is serving as the president and CEO of SNMC. Please welcome Dr. Nabil Bazuba. You don't hear me. Okay. If I come closer, that's too much. Okay. Okay, inshallah. Well, uh, first of all, dear guests, uh, friends and colleagues, brothers and sisters, salam alaikum, peace be upon you. Inshallah, it's uh, my first time addressing you as the president of SNMC, and it's uh, such an honor, really, to lead a very vibrant organizations as SNMC. Uh, this honor doesn't come without challenges, and my first challenge is to follow Dr. Imdad. It's uh, not easy to keep up with this energy. Even after not being as the president, I need the secretary just to manage his emails every day. It just storming us with emails and emails. So mashallah, he's full of energy. And I uh, would like on behalf uh, of this community, inshallah, to thank him for all these years that he has done for this community, him and his wife and his family. So if you can join me, inshallah, and thank you. He's eating. Uh, my second challenge, and inshallah, of course, I'm hoping that you're gonna help me be behind me, is to change this bad image that the Muslim community they have. Every time something bad happens in the whole world, we have again to come closer to the media and try to explain, explain ourselves and the fact that Islam is peace and it's not violent and all these things. And I see my kids just came late. Thank you. Uh, so this is a challenge facing not only SNMC but all the Muslim organizations in the world. And inshallah, we hope we hope that all together we're going to try, first of all, to keep raising awareness, building bridges with all the stakeholders and partners, and also be present and productive in our society. We cannot change this image be, be, without being present and productive in this society and everywhere. So this is the first challenge, or the second, after Dr. Imdad. The other challenge is the youth. In the next generation, I would have hoped that today, a youth male or even a female addressing you as the president of SNMC. Unfortunately, I came here to Ottawa in 1995, and still I see the same faces. Maybe 20 or 30 people running the show all the time. And I just a few days was at OMA, which is the main mosque. I was talking to the president, the new president, and he was the president 10 years ago. And he told me, well, OMA, mashallah, we are good in recycling. We recycle the president, we are green. I hope, inshallah, that uh, not in six years I will come back again following him dead as another president of SNMC. 
As I said, I would have hoped that the youth and even a female be the president of SNMC. And as our prime minister, he said, well, we are in 2015, 50% of his cabinets are female, and we are only going to the root of our religion. 50 or the third of our hadiths coming from the Prophet are coming from a female. The third of our deen is coming from a female. So it's only going back to the roots if we give them more space to lead us, because I know they have, mashallah, lots of leadership and lots of positive things to bring to the community. And the youth, I'm talking about the youth. We are a generation of a builder. As I said, I was talking to the president of OMA. He came here in 1958. He told me that in 1960, 62, they used to celebrate the Eid in the embassy of Pakistan, and there were 10 of them. We are 100,000 of Muslims here in the city of Oral. And the assets of the Muslim organization just here in Ottawa is 100 million of dollars. Can you imagine? A hundred of million dollars, this is just the assets of the Muslim community here in Oda. Managing this huge capital, serving a hundred thousand of Muslims with the same type of institutions that we came with three decades ago. Three decades. I remember when I was a student and running the Muslim Students Association, uh, we, we are running SNMC almost the same way. We cannot, we cannot run the Muslims organization right now with all these challenges that are facing us with the same institution. We have to renew all these institutions and to give space to the youth and use these tools of social media that we don't have the staff. We are not good in these tools. And only by doing so and renewing that we're going to bring them, inshallah, and hopefully next time one of these youth, they will talk to you especially with all the pressure that it is on them through the social media, through the radicalizations, through the extremism. We have to work very hard normally to bring them, inshallah, to these organizations. You are not uh, listening to me? So I was just talking and seeing people knocking their head and I thought that they understand. So it's too bad. Inshallah, we try to solve this issue next time. The third challenge, and this is very specific to SNMC, it's a loan of a million dollars. And our congregation, they are fed up to hear the same amount. Since we opened this mosque and we are telling you we have one million dollar loan, and please help us. But the problem is the expectation of the community is so high that unfortunately, sometimes the revenues that we have are less than the expenditures. So inshallah, we are counting on you again to help us pay back this loan. And this is one of my objectives, inshallah, in these two years, I hope, by your help and the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that I will pay back this loan in two years, inshallah, maximum. If you can just help me and be a little bit quiet, I don't know. We have an acoustic engineer here. And the more you start talking, the more echo there will be, and we don't hear you, and you won't hear me, inshallah. And be patient with us. So I was saying, inshallah, it is all this asset is because of you. And this is our strength, the strength of the Muslim community. We are independent. We don't have a mosque built by the Moroccan MBC or a mosque built by the Saudi mosque. Saudi uh, Arabia MBC, and when, for example, it comes the beginning of the month of Ramadan, we have some political pressure on us, and we can even unite ourselves. Alhamdulillah, here in Ottawa, all the mosques belong to the community. This is our strength, and we're gonna keep coming back to you to keep this neutrality and this strength within the community, inshallah. So we hope that you're gonna help us, inshallah, to be back this room. Finally, today is a day of celebration. Today is the day where we are celebrating our achievements. We are honoring some people within our community that they've done a lot during this year to help us overcome those challenges, inshallah. 
So welcome again. Thank you for coming. And I hope that you're going to enjoy your day with us, inshallah. Salam alaikum.